What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm out here today for a simple camp out in one of my favorite campsites. Um, I have not been to this campsite for a camp in two years, one year. It's been quite a while. I just love this campsite. It is a just a, a, a super good one that, that works really, really well for making videos and it's a pretty, pretty environment. So I've got something a little unusual. We're gonna try something different today. I've got a very interesting structure I'm gonna set up. We're gonna try our best to have a campfire. <laughs> we'll see if we can make that happen. But I do have some good food to eat. I got some good beers to try out. We're gonna have ourselves a nice time and enjoy nature and enjoy the rain. But before I do any of that, I've gotta take a little nip off of the old banana flask. Into six. That is uh, Jack Daniels. Lots and lots of requests for Jack Daniels on the channel. So there you go. There you got it. Now let's get set up. I really love this campsite because out of uh, several campsites that are in the area, this one still has a little patch of kind of mossy green that I get a chance to set up with because this structure whatever you want to call it, bubble tent thing does not have a floor. This is a very bizarre idea and uh, I just wanted to try something different so I hope you enjoy it. Okay, we're up. Okay, now we're up. I've got this uh, Tyvek ground sheet that a long time ago, I was tarp camping and something sharp poked me from the ground, popped my air mattress, and a bunch of people in the comments recommended this Tyvek ground sheet. Always appreciative to everybody who did that. Thanks guys. Oh, that is cool. This is bananas. Um, 
we're going to see if I actually need this anymore. This company called Mission Mountain sent me a couple things. I'm using out a table and a chair from them today. Uh, set them up at home and I, and I liked them a lot. They're a little, little on the complicated side to set up, but they're comfortable and accommodating. And for a car camping trip like this, perfect. Now this tent did come with a bunch of guy lines, tie out points, etc. Um, I don't think it's going anywhere. I don't think I really need it for the, the trip today. Um, maybe I'll do that later, we'll, we'll see. But for the time being, I definitely have some water pooling up in the center here. And it did come with some tent poles. And I'll show you exactly what those are used for in a second here. Just one pull did all the trick in the world. But we'll go ahead and get all three set up because why not? And there we go. Bada bing. No more puddle at the top. Bada bing. cozy setup I'm not gonna lie I guess my next step is gonna be getting the fire going and um, getting some food rocking and rolling um, however I think I've earned myself a little bit of uh, R&R &R time so um, you can see I have quite a bit of beer there I just picked it up at the grocery store this morning um, yeah most of that will be coming home with me but I am very very um, lucky to have access to some cool camping gear and stuff. So I got a nice little setup in there with the power station. Thanks to Blue Eddy and thanks to um, Set Power for, for providing me the fridge. Um, definitely the part of the new plan is to do some pretty cool car camping trips. So I'll be working those in occasionally um, along with some stealth camps, along with some backpacking, along with some bushcraft always be camping in the rain love doing that there is just something about camping in the rain i just absolutely love it it's fantastic and you guys seem to love it too so 
We're gonna go ahead and kick our day off with one of my favorite beers, Dortmunder. It's a gold lager uh, from Great Lakes Brewing Company, and that's where I got the sampler pack from in the car. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yep, this is living. Need to process a couple of these pieces down because um, they're just a little too big. Start my fire. So I need at least a little bit of some small stuff. Sometimes when it gets small like this, it's just easier to use the knife and a baton. It's more precise. for a rainy day. So yeah, I'm definitely getting hungry. Um, I'd like to get my dinner started, but um, uh, I also want to go for a little bit of a hike. Um, there's a there's plenty of, of beautiful scenery around the area, so I want to do a little bit of a loop real quick. Um, once I start that fire, um, uh, it, it's not responsible to leave it burning and then leave the campsite. Um, so I'd have to put it out and then relight it when I got back. It, it would just be a pain in the butt. So um, before we get our fire started, we're going to go ahead and do a little hike around. I'll show you some of the stuff and um, just a little casual stroll. And then when we come back, we'll get our fire going and we'll get to cooking.
Oh, you can see there's just some like some really pretty manicured trails around these parts. So a really, really nice, really well taken care of park. Just past like a really pretty lake area back over there. Um, yeah, it's a gorgeous area. I'd love to camp over there, but um, there are no campsites. This is a public park, but it's not an area that allows dispersed camping, um, which is really what I love to do. I just love to like load everything into a backpack and get away from the car, but. Um, I like doing this too. This is fun. And um, I like mixing it up, you know? Um, so, yeah. People who don't uh, get out and camp in the rain, you're missing out. It's fun. This chair's comfortable. Um, I definitely like sitting in it. Um, it. It's certainly not a backpacking chair. Um, I can't. I can't attest to how durable it is or how long it'll last because it's, it's brand new. I haven't had a chance to really test it much. Um, one thing um, that that is kind of a bummer about this chair, and it's not unique to this chair. Uh, a lot of these kind of collapsible camp chairs have this problem is that if the foot is not widened or splayed out or, or have ball on it or something where I'm at there's just like dirt and mud out in the woods everywhere and that chair leg just sinks right into the ground um, it's a consistent problem I got a chair from nature hike that I, I really like and it's, it's kind of got these kind of just sort of balls that attach to the, the, the um, foot of the chair leg. And that helps a lot. Um, but yeah, otherwise, uh, you know, so far so good. But anyway, um, yeah, just chilling here, relaxing. It's just a really cool tent. <laughs> Um, I don't think this thing is intended for this, uh, but I thought, what the heck, this could be fun, and it's already super fun. I'm, uh, enjoying just kind of chilling out in here, it's super relaxing, and I know I'm going to have a real nice, um, kind of peaceful night's sleep in here, too. So, at any rate, did my little hike. Um, if I decide I want to go on a different hike later, I'll have to put the fire out. Most likely I'm just going to sit around here on the camp site. So um, I think we're going to go ahead and get our, get our fire started here. So let's do it.
here comes that rain back in. I did not have paper towels with me, so I'm gonna have to make do with uh, toilet paper, so don't mind me. Should work just the same. While I was trying to adjust that great thing there, up and down, it slipped and um, the oil that was in the pan just went splattering all over the place, got me in the face. Uh, luckily, you know, not hurt, nothing's not burned, nothing's, nothing's bad. Um, and I think I got enough oil in the pan left to finish these fries off. So, yeah. This uh, chili is heated, is rehydrated quite nicely. I'm gonna put it back onto the heat um, just as I'm pulling those fries off and just give it a nice little warm up back up. And then we'll have ourselves a nice hot. And then we'll have our, and then we'll have ourselves a nice hot meal. I ain't losing no french fry. Oh yeah. That's looking good. Cheers. Okay. Moment of truth. Mm. 
I don't know what that looks like on screen. It might look like a big old mess, but it's not bad. Fries might need a little work. Normally I wouldn't have sour cream, but I got that little fridge in the car. That's not bad. Chili, cheese, french fries with green onions, Mrs. Bananas chili, and sour cream on top. I could definitely do worse, that's for sure. Fantastic. All right, I'm gonna finish this off. Ponder for a minute, take five, chill out for a second, finish up my food. I'll check back with you guys in a bit. Cheers. Yeah, so I've just been kind of sitting around and digesting and not sure what to do next. Um, I think I'd like to have a big fire. Not too big, I want to keep it reasonable, obviously. Uh, however, if I go back and I buy more of that firewood, it's five bucks a bundle, um, I'm gonna end up uh, in the hole pretty hard. Um, uh, usually I try not to go out and um, collect downed firewood in these park type of situations. I'm not sure if it's technically against the rules or not. Um, in general, I don't think they like you doing it because they don't want people trampling through off trail and uh, trampling vegetation and, and, and that kind of stuff. So, um, so I'm not sure, but a bunch of stuff like this That's literally just right here. Um, I don't see the harm in uh, grabbing that, chopping it up, and uh, making myself a nice big fire. So, not sure exactly what else to do, but that sounds like fun. Um, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have ourselves a nice healthy fire. So come on, let's do it.
than a six. Okay, there's my starter wood. Next stage up is right there. The biggest chunks are all right there. And then I got one full bag of firewood left. Oh. Okay, so um, I'm gonna wait for it to get completely dark. Um, um, just cause I think it'll look neater and that uh, darkness is uh, just a few minutes around the corner from us here. Um, while we're waiting for that, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, answer some, uh, Patreon questions. My good buddy, George, also known as uh, handsome devil asks, what camera did I first use to film my YouTube videos? When I got started with YouTube, I started with a Samsung note 10 and I used that for quite some time for over a year of filming. Um, I had a $20, uh, cell phone tripod and that was it that is all i used when i first started now i use iphones um i've been using iphone 13 pro i'm currently filming on an iphone 15 pro max i do have a panasonic lumix fz 300 um, that is a camera that uh, john over at lost lake started out with and um I've always been a big, big fan of his uh, channel and kind of followed a lot of guidance from him. Um, I also have a GoPro 10, I think it is. And then I also have a um, DJI Mini 2 drone. So that's what I film with now. So I have all that stuff. So each one of those has a memory card and has to be uploaded and yada, yada, yada. So that's what, that's my current setup now. But yeah, anywho, um, that's the deal. and. That's what I started with. Yeah, hopefully that's interesting to you.
Yes, sir. That is a fire. Woo! Goodness gracious. That is beautiful. That is a beautiful sight to be held. To behold and to be held. That is fantastic. Love it. Oh shoot, almost forgot. Woo! That is cool. That is cool. I love it. Yes, this type of stuff, amenities like this, bathroom right there that is open um, is, you know, this is why people like to camp in campgrounds and I totally get it. Um, and it's growing on me a little bit. My, my top, my, my love will always be throwing things into a backpack and heading out into the forest. But just to make sure that things don't get stale, I like to do stuff like this once in a while. You know, I gotta mix it up. <clears throat> I gotta try different things. Um, I gotta do different things. Um, keeps me on my toes, keeps me doing different kinds of videos, keeps the uh, audience entertained, keeps me reaching new people. And um, keep, you know, uh, everything is, uh, is a different. It just makes sure things don't get stale for me. So anyway. Got some backpacking coming up soon, so don't you worry about that. I'm gonna burn the rest of this firewood, so I'll stoke this fire up one more time. Finish this beer off. I might have one last beer. I'm not driving, I'm not going anywhere, so. But yeah, just wanna kind of enjoy um, the campsite a little bit. And um, yeah chill out relax anything crazy happens i'll definitely film it for you guys otherwise um check back with in the morning Man, that fire just does not want to take off. I think it needs a little heat. Everybody, you just something. Got to listen to the beat. Don't you worry if you can't dance. Let the rhythm move your feet. Come on, shake your body, baby. Do that conga. I know you can't control yourself for any longer. Feel the rhythm, feel the rhythm, feel the conga. Small plot with Kevin is a good channel. Make sure that you check him out. That's a good channel, a really good channel, but not as good as Sam Bananas. Come on, baby, 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 do that chunk. I know you can't get to the top of any longer. Feel the rhythm, feel the rhythm of the conga. Feel the rhythm of the conga. Beat, boom, boom, boom. By the way, we're trying to get uh, Kevin over at Small Plots uh, up to 10,000. He is 
awful, awful close at the moment. So I know a lot of uh, people who watch me uh, also watch Kevin. But if you haven't yet, or if you're new to the channel, and you want to check out another kind of up and coming YouTube guy, a super, super underrated, um, does stealth camping, he does regular camping, he does um, urban exploration, he does all, all, all kinds of stuff, and, and he's just a, a whiz um, with shooting and editing, and just a fantastic, fantastic channel. So um, if you want to, you know, if you're in the mood and, and, and you feel like it, um, swing on over and give one of his videos a try. If you see what you like, hit that subscribe button. Leave him a comment and say that uh, Sam Bananas sent you. Kevin and I are working on a plan to get together soon. So, fingers crossed, you will see us sooner rather than later. Perfect. So comfy. Good morning, everybody. Um, I'll be honest, that was about the um, best night's sleep. I've had camping in quite some time. Um, this cot is super, super comfortable. Um, I wish it was uh, easy enough to take backpacking, but um, it's, it's just a little too big. It's not practical, but too heavy too. Um, but it works perfect for this type of scenario. <sighs> okay, let's get up and at them. And oatmeal is a little, little soupy. Um, that's all right. Woo! That is piping hot <laughs> coffee. Oh my god. Probably need to take that lid off. Okay, so I'm gonna, my next step here is I'm gonna break down these three main pieces of furniture, camp furniture that I use, and then uh, packed up, show you on the picnic table so you can get a feel for like the size of how big everything is. Yeah, get back with you when it's all torn down. Okay, so here it is so you can see everything. This is the table all packed up. This is the cot all packed up. This is that chair that blue sleeping pad I take um, all over with me um, these are the lights now let's uh, tear down that bubble tent first thing I gotta take these poles out of here and here's that door I had that open all night long didn't have any problem with water or rain or anything getting into the tent, getting inside. The ground was already wet anyway, but um, it was not a problem. Zip that back up. How the hell do I do that? Okay. I did it 
at home. It's fine, we will figure this out. There we go. That is not too bad. It's actually not that terrible. You pack up, arrange it so you can see here. Okay. So then, part's a little tricky, but you have to bend it over like this. Once you get the angle right, it will just collapse. Boom, there you go. And then that folds like that. Get the strap on it. Okay. It's not terrible. It is, this thing is filthy now, but that's all right. Okay. And there's that. Here we go. So we do our cans over here for recycling and the rest of the trash goes here bada bang okay um that is uh, another one in the books we're all wrapped up everything cleaned up campsite taken care of gears packed away i hope you enjoyed that video if you like this video and you'd like to see more from me it definitely helps the channel if you would click that banana and we're gonna catch you on the next one everybody Bye now. Oh yes, Kevin. Does a lot of things now. Still camping and regular camping. Bum, 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 bum. He also does regular camping. And he does some urban exploration. Dun 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 dun. Hashtag save the pee tunnel. Dun dun dun. Dun 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 dun. Come on, baby, 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 do that chunga. I know you can't control yourself for any longer. Feel the rhythm, feel the rhythm of that chunga. Beep, bum, 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 bum